none of my vows. Do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not the kings of drink wine, not for princes intoxicating drinks, lest they drink and forget the law, and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. Give strong drink to him who is perishing, and wine to those who are bitter of heart. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open your mouth for the speechless and the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous wife, for her worth is far more above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her, so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidservants. She considers a field and buys it. From her profit she plants a vineyard. She grids herself with strength, girds herself with strength, and strengthens in her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good, and her lamp does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the stick, to the staff, and her hand holds the spindle. She extends her hand to the poor. She reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow or her household. For all her household is clothed with scarlet. She makes tapestry for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband, her husband is known in the gates. When he sits among the elders of the land, she makes the linen garments and sells them, and supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her to the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. The words of King Lemuel, the utterance which his mother taught him. What, my son, and what son of my womb, and what son of my vows? Do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes intoxicating drinks lest they drink, forget the law, and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. Give strong drink to him who is perishing, and wine to those who are bitter of heart. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Open your mouth for the speechless, and the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous wife, her worth is far above rubies. The heart of a husband safely trusts her, so she, have, so she shall have no lack or gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidservants. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand praise today. God is good. Amen. Amen. We're here to celebrate the life of my grandmother, the matriarch of the family. I want to say to the family, as we're here, they have an amazing program. They will follow us. Print it because God is good. How many know God is good? Amen. The Bible declared to be absent from the bodies, be present with the Lord. You know, somebody asks us, it's a hard task. It's a very hard task. 
but the strength that God gives in order for times like these because God reminds us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So we're going to celebrate our grandma and uh, as we're here to celebrate her life today, uh, we truly thank God for... Uh, we truly, truly thank God for that. Uh, so at this time, we have the prayer of assurance from Reverend Oscar Howard. Uh, scripture reading from uh, Reverend Vernell Bell. And then followed by musical selection, I won't complain. And then at this time. Let us pray. Eternal Father. We come to say thank you for another opportunity that a soldier has left the smoky battlefield and has said that her plight is finished. A well done assignment that has been completed. We thank you, God, for longevity, 96 years. It's a long time. We were only given three scores and ten, which is 70. But you so God, because of your grace and your mercy, smile down on Mama Lou. Every family from the youngest to the eldest got a word of wisdom from the wisdom woman. She was so kind and so loving that even young boys that weren't related, she adopted as her son. She stayed here a long time and had some ups and downs. But every now and then, God, you allowed her to smile and bless somebody along the way. We realize that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. She left behind a legacy for somebody to try to feel her shoes. We thank you for her life, for her wisdom, for her smile, for her love. Thank you. As she's resting in your bosom today, look down on this family. Strengthen them in the days to come. It's all right to shed some tears. Because God will wipe away all your tears. But one of these old morning, we're going to lay down our sword and shield down by the riverside. I ain't going to study war no more. Thank you for Mama Lou. Thank you for this family. In Jesus' name, amen. for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thine rod and staff, it comforts me. Thou prepare the table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. New Testament reading, Revelations 7 chapter, starting at verse 9. After this I looked and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne, before the Lamb. 
and they were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne with them, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and strength and power be to our God forever and ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? And I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not be down on them nor any scorching. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will lead them to springs of living waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Rain. 
to me He has been good to me Better than this world could ever be of life at this time as mass minister continue to play soft music for the reading of the uh, mutual reflections of life say for those that don't have programs we do have other programs coming before you leave you will have a program we do have more programs that are coming you will have one before you leave at this time we will uh, do acknowledgments and resolutions acknowledgments and resolutions at this time Words of Comfort, Mother Louise Burst. The Bible says, study the Bible, teaching tools of scripture. Be committed to stay with the call. Trust God with your past and future. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish our plans. Proverbs 16 and 3. A life well lived is a precious gift of hope, strength, and peace. It's filled with moments, sweet and sad, with smiles and sometimes tears. Reverend Gordon, please accept our heartfelt condolences on the death of your grandmother. We hope your memories of her will help you through this difficult time. What a blessing it was for you to have your grandmother for so many years. Please know that we are praying for you and the rest of your family. We, the members of the Canaan District Baptist Association, want you and your family to know that our hearts are with you as you gather to bid your, grandma, your grandmother Louise goodbye. God saw that Mother Louise was getting tired, so he put his arms around her and whispered, Louise, come with me. A golden heart stopped beating. She now, she was now at rest. You see, God only takes the best. Whereas we want to encourage and console you in the words of Jesus who said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Resolved, may the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 
A copy of these words of conference will be given to the family and a copy kept in our records. Humbly submitted, Reverend Rex Woodford, moderator and members of the Canaan District. Canaan District Baptist Association Nurses and Urshers Auxiliary. Resolution, Sister Joanne Allen, Pastor Scott God Gordon, and the family of Louise Burst. It is with great sadness, mingled with great joy, that we, the Canaan District Baptist Association, Urshers and Nurses Auxiliary of Tulsa, Oklahoma, extend our condolences to you on the passing of your beloved family member, Sister Louise Burst. Sister Burst is the mother of one of our beloved Canaan District Urshers, Sister Joanne Allen. Sister Burst is also the grandmother of one of our beloved vice moderators, Pastor Scott Gordon. Sister Burst has gone from labor to reward and is resting in the bosom of Jesus. If she could talk to us now, she would tell us to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We pray that your fond memories, memories of her will comfort, and comfort you during this time of bereavement and loss. May God continue to bless and comfort you through Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm submitted, Brother M. Philip Jackson. Urshia President, Reverend Rex C. Woodford, moderator. Zapapa Booker T. Washington Alumni Class of 1975. I give unto thee, to them eternal rest, John 10 and 28. We have the promise of God that death, which most men fear, shall be to us the most blessed of experiences dependent upon our trust in him. In his own way and for his own purpose, God has reached down and called the spirit of Louise Burst Bell home to be with him throughout eternity. Whereas the officers and members of the Sepulchre Booker T. Washington Alumni Class of 1975 express, desire to express our love and respect to our classmate, Joanne Allen. Whereas we assure the family of Louise Lou that we have our last that they have our lasting heartfelt sympathy. Although it saddens us, death has no power over those of us who believe in the promise of Jesus Christ. Although to accept the resurrection is to understand that death is only the last step on our journey to eternal life. Resolved, therefore, that we embrace the family with our thoughts and prayers, knowing the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we can comfort those in the affliction with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Second Corinthians 1, verses 3 through 4. Lovingly submitted to Papa Booker T. Washington um, alumni, class of 1975. I have two other resolutions, and I'm just going to acknowledge them. Resolution from Greater Mount Carmel Baptist Church, Reverend Terry Hughes, pastor. Greater Cornerstone Baptist Church, Derek Williams, Senior Pastor, and Rosalind Wilson, Church Secretary. Acknowledgement. The family of Louise Burris wishes to express our, our sincere thanks to all who have shown love, kindness, and concern to our family during this time in our lives. A special thanks to Miller Hospice and Butler Stump and Dyer Funeral Home staff the Big Daddy's Barbecue, Paul Ball. May God continue to bless you as you continue to pray for our family, the family. Thank you. I'd like to also read this one that came from the church, unable to print it due to the printer, but it is a uh, resolution in loving memory of uh, Mother Louise Burst. My kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace be removed. Isaiah 54 and 10. Grief will not last, joy will return, for though your tears will clearly see that while we are part for a moment, with Christ we'll spend eternity. Be it resolved that we know heaven has gained a very special angel, Miss Louise Burst. Our hearts still feel the sorrow, so we are sending your prayers for peace and comfort in time of sadness. To the family and the departure of your loved one, we take this message to express our sincere sympathy to you. We feel at this time this word seems so inadequate. Please know that Calvary Baptist Church officers and members are praying for you. Humbly submitted, Nicole R. Carter, 
church clerk, senior pastor Scott Gordon. Amen. At this time, we have a tribute from the Dyer Butler Stump family. At this time, a tribute from the Dyer Butler Stump family. Give an honor to God, Pastor Gordon, Lil Pitt, and to my beautiful family. In love and memory, Louise Burst, October 15, 1926, June 10, 2022. Our matriarch goes home. God's garden. God looked around his garden and found an empty place. He then looked down upon the earth and saw your tired face. He put his arms around you and lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He only takes the best. He knew that you were suffering. He knew you were in pain. He knew that you would never get well on earth again. He saw the road was getting rough and the hills were hard to climb. So he closed your weary eyelids and whispered, peace be thine. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you didn't go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. Presented to the family on this 23rd day of June, 2022, by the Butler Stump and Dyer Funeral Home. If I walk in the pathway of duty, if I work till the close of the day, I shall see the great King in all of His beauty oh Lord when I'm gone the last mile of the way when I'm gone the last mile of the way yeah. the day for I know there is joy awaiting yeah. where I'm gone the last mile of the way oh yes sir if I were for Christ to proclaim the glad story that's the gospel y'all yeah. if I see for his sheep that are gone astray oh yes sir I am sure that he will show me his glory oh yeah when I'm gone smile of the way oh, when I'm gone the last smile of the way oh, I shall rest at the close of the day yes I will the way hey, hey, hey. when I've gone the last mile of the way amen amen 
that's what grandma would say to us the other morning on June the 10th she went the last mile of the way amen amen at this time we were actually at this time have a poem from one of her great grandson I also want to say to the other family members that are joining in that is not able to make it and is joining in with us by Facebook we want to say to you that our prayers are with you all we love you all and that we truly miss you all but we understand that you weren't able to make it at this time we have the great grandson with the poem at this time from now it will not matter the sort of house I lived in what my bank account was or the kind of car I drove but the world may be different because I was important in the life of a child amen amen amen, amen. God is good amen amen at this time we will have the uh, amen we've had time to get the video presentation at this time we uh, have a selection follow but Tamika would you go back and help D'Angelo with the video presentation. Thank you. She has a zip drive week through the video. Amen. Give God a hand praise at this time. Amen. God is good. Amen. 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 And while they're preparing for the video, we'll go ahead and do uh, remarks at this time. We'll have those that make remarks. I believe my mom is going to make remarks, so we'll let you go first, Mom. She has remarks that she's going to make at this time. down what I want to say. So, give an honor to God who is the head of this house and the pastor of this church, Pastor Scott L. Gordon. Also, I give reverence to all the other ministers of God in this house. I would first just like to thank God for allowing me to have my darling mother, the matriarch of this family for 73 years. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me such a wonderful, wise, compassion, caring, loving, understanding mother. Also, I, I would like to thank each and every grandchild and sibling that assist in the care of my mother and the preparing of the service for my mother. Again, the matriarch of this family, Louise Burst Bell. You all done a great job. I will forever be thankful for your services. I could go on and on until the service will turn into Mud Deer's family funeral service, but I won't. So I would like to read the 23rd Psalms that she, my mother, Louise Burke, gave me back in the day over 50 years ago to read while I was going through struggles in my life. She was also a very private and spiritual person. And I know this 23rd Psalms have come up a lot, but she was a spiritual person and certain verses Amen. she cherry picked it. And I didn't realize I was doing the same thing to one time I was in Sunday school and the Sunday school teacher asked me who David, asked the congregation who David was, something about the fight that he had with the Palestinians. And I blurted it out and said the wrong answer. So I had been cherry picking like my mother for years. But anyway, since then, I started reading detail to detail. And that's why the 23rd Psalms is repeated repeatedly because that was her first, 
of favors scripture. The, 23, the 23rd Psalms a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lay down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, that ride and that staff that comfort me, that prepareth a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May your spirit rest with us forever, Lou. I love you, Lou. All honors to my mother, whom is now wearing her tiara. And when she gets to heaven, God going to give her other crown. But we want to send her off in style. The matriarch of this family, Louise Burton. And the last thing I, I can say to the family, the boss is gone. Everybody is on their own from here on. So may God continue to bless you all, and I love you. <laughs> but the boss is gone, baby. <laughs> All right. Any other family members that would like to make remarks? Any other that would like to make remarks? Yes, Reverend Scott. Reverend Scott. Given honors as a pastor, my nephew, Reverend Scott. My name is Leroy Knox, and I got a chance to be with Miss Lou, and now I call her Mother Lou. So for a simple reason. Her oldest daughter, Idabel, was my sister, Idabel Knox. And I got to go visit my sister quite often. And Mother Lou would always tell me, you're one of my kids. You know? So I just want to say to the family and my sisters and brothers in Christ and also immediate siblings, I've been there for you and I'll always be there for you. Just lean on the Lord and also you can lean on me. Thank you. Hello, how y'all doing today? God is good. Amen. All the time. First of all, I want to say that I love my grandmother and she was everything to me. If y'all know, y'all know what she was to me. You know what I'm saying? My name is Meldon, but she always called me Melvin. But I'm here to tell everybody, everybody in this church, when you love someone, man, tell them that you love them. Because you never know when they're going to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be, it's so much negative energy, so much hatred in this world that we, we, we get consumed by it. You gotta put that aside, man. When you got family, you got loved ones, tell them you love them. When I used to go to church, you know, Scotty Reverend Webb used to tell us, look at the person next to you, tell them that you love them. All I'm telling y'all today is love each other. Cut all the negative energy out, you know? I'm not here to say nothing negative. I love my granny, man. I do anything in this world for her. Right now, I could be in that casket if I could. So I'm telling y'all, man, just for the future, from this day forth, love each other, man. Look to your neighbor next to him and tell him that you love him. You know, that's all it is, you know. Person need a hand, lend them a hand. When I was coming up in this world, man, when I was younger, man, we helped each other. In my, in my family, I don't know about y'all family, but in my family, it was a lot of hard times. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like Marvin Gaye said, we made it through the hard times. We made good times out of hard times. I don't know about y'all, but I had a lot of bangs and weenies, <laughs> syrup sandwiches, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it was good days, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we got to look for. We got to help each other. And if we don't help each other, who is? They're not. They're not. Ain't nobody going to help you. You got to help yourself, and we got to help each other. Today, today we laying down a beautiful lady, man, that taught me so much in this world, gave me so much love. All y'all, everybody, if you knew her, you knew, you knew she loved you. And if she didn't like you, she'll tell you the truth. She didn't like you, she gonna tell you, hey man, uh, Melvin, and I, she give you that look, I'm like, all right. Smunky put that sign on the fence and tell him ain't gonna be nothing today now. 
And if it's something today, Boochie and Melvin and Smokey, y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So come together in, in, in peace, man. You know, come together and love each other. Hug each other. When you don't see people for a long time, tell them that you love them. It goes a long way, man, in this world. That old lady did a lot, a lot, a lot to try to keep, to keep us together. For real, she did a lot, man. And y'all know we had good times in that front yard. Good times. You know what I'm saying? Real good times. And, man, I'm, I I shared some good days. Even in her last days, we laugh and giggle. Me and Scotty had one day. I ain't going to tell nobody, but, boy, <laughs> you know. Boosie know. She was laughing and giggling, was she? We had a good, you know, we had good times. I had bad times. Even when I had bad times, Paul, no. What grandma gonna call? Boy, you better get him to school. You better get him to school. He's giving him to come over there and get him. So all I'm telling y'all, man, is love each other, man. That's all I got. That's all I'm here to tell you, man. All that negative energy and hating each other, man. When I was coming up, somebody went to jail, we got him out. Somebody needed a place to stay, they had a place to stay. We had to pay a bill, and where my Aunt Ernie at? Because Aunt Ernie will sell every, every piece of furniture in the house to help you out. He in jail, oh boy, she, we ain't watching no TV today. We can, you better go outside and play, because we got to go down here and get somebody out of jail, or we got to pay somebody bills, or we got to do something for that, help somebody. And I respect her for that. I respect her for that. Grandma, Ada, them was three mothers in our family that we had. Ada would have all the kids. I hate a willow tree right to this day, and I know you do, Donna Ray and the rest of y'all. Because she would tear that tree off and wear you out. But she taught us right from wrong. And she taught us to love each other. And we stuck together. We stuck together. That's all I'm asking y'all to do is just stick together and love each other, man. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. It ain't about what you got or what you did or where you have been. It's about what you do for each other. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's just a little bit, you did it. You know, and people that got sisters and, and, and not a part of my family or brothers or mothers, love them. Call them today and say, hey, man, I love you. I care about you. I just, I'm just checking on you because you never know when you're going to get that day when you can't tell them that, man. And when I tell you it hurts like, boy, it hurts. So with that being said, man, y'all love each other, man. That's all I got to say. And I love y'all. honor to God, um, the pulpit, and the family. Um, I'm just here to say that I'm fortunate. I believe that she loved me, and Lou is one of those people that you wished could just live on and on. A woman. Her and my aunt, when we, when Scotty and I very first um, got together, her and my aunt, they went garage sailing. We jumped into the car, and I was driving, and we're going down the road and she's like that stop stop at that house stop at that house so we stopped at the house me not a very good driver i'm just gonna admit that i roll up on the curb and she's like whoa <laughs> so she was a beautiful person um she's sorely gonna be missed by all absolutely gorgeous person i would love it when she would sit there in her chair and just watch out the window watch out the door even in her last days, she was in that room, and she made sure that she could see what was going on outside. <laughs> she wanted to know everything that was going on in those last few days. Scotty, we were there, and I'm telling you, she spilled all the tea she had to spill. <laughs> so she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. She will greatly be missed, and I'm very sorry for everybody. I love you guys. Thank you. Amen. We thank y'all for those remarks. At this time, we're going to have a musical selection to see if we can get the video presentation going. This time, a musical selection. Oh, Reverend Howard and then uh, Bishop Green and Reverend Bell. It would behoove me not to say something about such a giant of a woman. Christy talked about how she would sit at the front door. She was a front door security guard. She knew everything that went on on Tecumseh and Evanston. I snuck by one day. I didn't see Joanne's car. 
And I guess she knows both of my trucks. I got two trucks, she knows both of them. Snuck by and the next time I went to visit her, she said, oh, I saw you pass by, you didn't stop where them wild at. She was, I lost my mom last month. She was 88. And I, had, I said, well, I still got another mom. I got Mother Lou. She accepted me and Reverend Bell like two of her sons. There wasn't no difference between me, Reverend Bell, or Willie, or one of her own sons. But every Sunday after I got through at my church, I'd go by and see her. And if I didn't show up, she'd be asking Johnny May or Joanne, where's Oscar? Where's Oscar? Is ain't any Miller season? But one thing she did that got to me, my wife and I went over to visit her, and uh, I guess my wife had her hair feet kind of stylish that day. Oscar, you got a beautiful daughter. I said, now, she, Susan look older than me. I said that to myself now. But she said Susan was my daughter. But let me tell you, this was one of the sweetest women I know. She's surely going to be missed. And on Sunday was the gathering place for everybody to show up. I'm still going to be showing up. I want the family to know I loved her. I love you. Whatever I can do, I'm with you. And it's going to be greater later. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I am so grateful to be here today. I'm grateful because I didn't know that Mother Lou had made her transition. And someone told me that the services was yesterday, last night. And I really got emotional because I started reminiscing on the yesteryears. But somehow the Lord led me down through the Facebook. And I said, well, if the services was today, I know it should be on Facebook. I looked all through Facebook and I couldn't find anything. Started to close off Facebook. Decided to go to Calvary Baptist Church. And I saw the picture. And it was today. And I was so grateful. I was so grateful. Because I've been knowing her all of my life. Her daughter, Sister White and I, we grew up together. Times during school, I could go to her house at lunch. And whatever it was, it might be bologna and bread but we had lunch. She could come to my house and do the same thing. You know, those were mothers. They were real mothers. If you would whip my child, or I would get a whipping, or I'm just going to say Johnny May. Is that all right? You can say Pat if you want to. Because we grew up together. And, and, and if my mother, whatever my mother said, was fine, whatever her mother said to me, it was fine. Those were mothers that, that were real mothers. And she has her own biological children. But how many, you don't have to raise your hand, but how many did she really mother out here today? You don't have to raise your hand. She was just that kind of a woman. Those were mothers back in the day. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I didn't miss this day. I'm so grateful. And I thank God. Uh, Sister White and I, we have children born the same year. One was born on the 6th of October, and the other one was born on the 7th of October. My daughter's over here, her and Pastor Gordon, we, he grew up with Scotty, but Pastor Gordon, we all have been family. And every time I come to Sepulpa, I just believe in my heart and know that in my heart that we're all families we don't see each other every day but if there's anything wrong that we can get to together 
we'll do it. Sepulpa will do it. I'm not sure about no other city, but I know Sepulpa will do it. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to be here. And Roy, my God, it's been so many. I, I sit there and looked at you and looked and looked. You used to play with me a long time ago. We'd have our little words together and then we'd start laughing before we'd leave each other. I just thank God. Let's continue. As this young gentleman said over here, love each other, pray for each other. And I tell you, Pastor Gordon is one of the best pastors on earth. He, he's a loving pastor. He'll reach out. He'll help you. He'll give you the word. And through the word of God, he'll save you if you want to be saved. God bless you and keep you is our prayer. Thank you, Pastor Gordon. Good afternoon, family. It would be remiss of me not to say anything. The Allen family, as we, the Marshalls, know them. We, we grew up, Burnett and Johannes, we were back to back, and we would always have to cross the alleyway to visit one another. We love us from Lou. She was such a sweet woman. Like I said, I was a classmate of Reverend Steen's. Joanne's. I was his classmate of Joanne's. And one thing that I've heard everyone say, so it must be some type of trait with the Sapapa mothers or something, where they sit on the front porch or the door and watch. Sitting there going and be nosy. Watching people come and go. I find myself doing that sometimes when my children leave, and I would think, is this what they thought about, you know, when your the children are all gone and you just watch them as they leave again? But on behalf of myself, on behalf of the Marshall family, you guys have all our love. I hate I didn't get to see Lou before she passed. I would always ask Joanne or Martha Ann about it whenever I would see them. Yeah, I did owe everybody else. I, used, I would go by and visit with Lou. Yeah, sure enough, she's sitting in there reclining in the front door looking out. Last time I went to visit her, sure enough, she in the bed, but got that window looking out. <laughs> that was Lou. It was nothing like it when we were coming up, you know, leave out our back door, go in their back door. Lou, we going to the stove. She digging that down in that bosom, pull out that handkerchief. <laughs> That's where she kept that money at. <laughs> but yeah, fun memories, fun memories. And just know we all love you. I came to know uh, Mother years ago, following Pastor Gordon. The one trait that she had that I think should be underscored, the one trait that she had that I think that should be underscored is her love, and I'm gonna say it this way, her unconditional love. If she loves you, she loves you, she loves you, and I, felt like she loved me and Howard the way she loved Scotty and all of you. Um, she would ask about me and, and one time we were visiting someone else at the hospital and uh, ran across uh, Johnny May and she said, uh, Lou just asked for you. Miss Louise, <laughs> she called her Lou. I, I said, oh, uh, uh, Mama, she just asked me. I said, where is she? Where is she? So we interrupted our visit to go to where she was. And when I opened the door, her face lit up. I mean, it like sunshine. It, and, and those are the kind of things, family, that we have to hold on to. Not just hold on to, but we have to do as well. We got to learn to love like she loved. And correct like she correct, because she can correct you when you need a correction. The pillars of our community are leaving, and we need to hold on to many of the, the examples that they lived before us. God bless you, family. Amen. 
he's going to make it once at this time. Did nobody have Change your mind? All right. Amen. Come, come, amen. Come on, we got time. Come on, if you're going to make it. Take me a long time to get to Granny's house again. But she's dressing up in heaven. And I love her. I would have rolled the hoverboard, but I don't know why I did that. And couldn't go he would never get mad and walk away so he stayed there night and day from the beginning to the end he was there when he, he did it i don't know you amen that's okay that's our uncle i just don't i mean my brother that's okay that's my brother i just don't know well i know him amen god is good give god a hand I've been knowing him. Amen. Okay. Okay. amen 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 god is good yeah. amen amen Amen. At this time, we have the video presentation. At this time, the video presentation. video is going to work today. Amen. Give God a hand praise as he's going to do another musical selection. And after the musical selection, that video is going to work. Amen. Amen. Though the storms keep on raging in my life, life and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day still that hope that lies within is reassured anybody know what I'm talking about yeah yeah as I keep my eyes upon the distant shore I know he leads me safely to that blessed place he has prepared oh but if y'all can sing along if the storm don't cease and if the wind on knowing my soul has been anchored in the Lord oh, I realize that some 
be tossed. Have I got a witness here? By the waves and the currents that seem so fierce. But this is what I want you to know. In the word of God, I, I've got an anchor. Yes, I do. What will it do for you? It'll keep you steadfast. And unmovable despite the time. But if, if the storms don't cease, and if the wind keep on blowing in my life, my It's gonna be all right Cause my soul has been in in the Lord Oh, the Lord Amen. Give God a hand, praise. We need to get to see some of it. God, we come today to just thank you for strength and comfort. We thank you, God, as we celebrate the life of my grandmother, that you get the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. No, I would say I thought I cried the last cry, but you know this is tough. This is very tough because I love my grandma unconditional. And she loved me unconditional. This is tough because, you know, I was going to have all the grandkids to stand up. Doug is the oldest grandson. Doug is the oldest. So I'm going to start with Doug. Doug start. And then all, all of the grandkids stand. All the grandkids stand. Doug is the oldest. Now all the grandkids stand. All the grandkids. All the grandkids. All the grandkids, all the grandkids, all the great grandkids, all the great great grandkids, all the great great grandkids. Are y'all stand? All the great great grandkids, all of y'all. This is just a portion. There's so many others that's watching by social media that weren't able to make it. I love you all. Your grand, you know, and all of us. Grandma loved us to make us all feel that we were the special ones. You may be see that every one of us felt special. Every one of us felt, felt special. Grandma, I say that before Medea came out, I wish I knew Tyler Perry because you all think that Tyler Perry and the Browns have something. They have nothing on Belle and her clan. All of my grandmother's children, 
I told them I was going to take them down to the Social Security and I'm going to get them a check. So all of her kids need to get a check. Yeah, all of them. They may not be all the way, but halfway. That's my... Every time I would go to my grandma's, I knew that there was going to be a fight. I just didn't know which one of the sisters was going to start at first. So I told my wife when we would go to family functions, if it got too hot, if I say go, let's go. And so we would stay there for a moment, and then them sisters would get to cutting up so bad to where I would say, let's go. And I was done. Sunday, they, after Grandma passed, they had a gathering, and my Aunt Joanne called and asked me, was I going to come? I had to tell God to forgive me because I had no intentions to go in because I wasn't finna go to no family fight. That's just the way it was. When I see our, my cousins and all my cousins, all my uh, cousins from all of my aunts and uncles' children, we love each other. We don't have to say that. We love each other. We've always been there for each other and been there as a, an extension for one another. I, I did know exactly what Mel Don said about the love. Because back in the day, if we went to jail, we wasn't going to be in there past 24 hours. That was just family. I appreciate that. was just family. And then if we needed anything, it was automatically done there. Now, Belle, Belle, she was nosy. Grandma was nosy. She didn't drive but can get anywhere she wanted to go. I didn't never figure out how, but anytime something, I'm pastor here in Sepulpa, but anytime something that, needed, that went on, she knew before I knew. If somebody died, she knew. Somebody was in a hospital, she knew. Somebody went to jail, she knew. And she sit in that front room, and I don't know how, but she knew everything that was going on at Nisi's house. She knew everything that was going on. And Grandma was a hoarder. Yeah. She, I mean, she would go to garage sales and buy stuff that she did not need. She was the only woman I knew that had six couches and could only have two in the living room. The only woman I knew. Then in the garage, she had so much stuff in the garage that she never probably even knew that she had it up in the attic. She had so much stuff. That was just Grandma. But grandma, what she would do is I would get so upset with mom. mom. Mom knows how to push my buttons. Yeah, she knows how to push my buttons. I would get so upset with moms. And so I would go that way and I would sit down and I would tell Lou, your daughter acting up again. She'd say, that's your mama. That's your mama. <laughs> and she'd always, she'd always say, love your mama. That's your mama. I say, I don't know how much I can take. She said, that's your mama. <laughs> that was grandma. Grandma knew how to actually smooth it. So then I waited a few days because there's sometimes I'm like, I ain't calling her no more. So I wait a day. And then I call Stacy. Then I was Sherry. Then I call Sherry. And then I said, Sherry, what's the temperature? How your mama doing today? <laughs> and so we would be able to find out. And then if she was mad at Sherry, then we'd find uh, I found out with Stacy. I'm going to tell you this is very hard. I'm telling you this because I'm trying to get us to laugh so I won't be crying through this because it's tough. It's very, very tough. All the grandkids and even the kids, the kids allowed us as grandkids, and every one of us grandkids done the best we could for our grandmother. I mean, when I say all of us, we've done the best we could to make sure that we gave grandma the best care that grandma could get. I knew it was over when... She said to me, she says, Scotty, tell me the truth. I'm dying, ain't I? And I knew right then that Grandma was dying. And then Grandma said to me, she said, I want to walk. I want to walk. I said, Grandma, we'll give it a shot.
down, but the Bible reminds me in Psalms 30 and 5 that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. The writer David reminds us that the Lord is our shepherd, and I can truly tell you that if I gave Grandma the mic, she would say, down through the years, the Lord has been good to her. She never had, a, she never did complain, and, and trust me, uh, we've had some bad times in our family, but I can tell you that Grandma never complained. I can tell you in my 53 years that Grandma never did complain. She always knew that God would see her through. In times like these, family, I want to tell us that we got to continue to trust God. We may shed some tears, but we must know that God will wipe the tears away. And, and I want to say to us today, the Bible reminds us that the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. So that means that no matter what we're going through, God will supply our need. Do I got a witness in there? Anybody know that God will supply all of our needs? And that means that he will wipe your tears away. That means that he will rock you. You know, he just reminded me that I don't have to be strong because where I'm weak, God is strong. I don't have to carry the burden by myself because the Bible says, cast all my cares on him because he cares for you. And I want to share with this family that grandma has fought a good fight. Grandma has finished her course. Grandma has ran a race and even to the end I can tell you that grandma kept the faith. I can tell you that when grandma closed her eyes on this side she was in her right mind. I can tell you that even while she was on her bed of affliction she was still yet able to call on the name of Jesus because she knew that there was power in the name of Jesus. I know that we as grandkids we laugh we joke we play but we know that when, it, when the rubber meets the road that we're right there to help one another and that's what grandma has instilled in us even on the family dinners when she would sit on the porch and would be able to smile we would all get a little wisdom from her and because of the Lord being her shepherd we will see her again the writer goes on to write and says he make it you to lie down in green pasture he leads you besides the still waters I can tell you that if I can get a glimpse of heaven I can think that grandma went to see her daughter Ida Bell. I can tell you she went to see one of her sisters or brothers but I can truly see her now in the presence of God saying Lord I thank you cause the children you gave me kept me praying Lord I thank you cause the kids that you gave me kept me looking to the hills from which cometh my help Lord I thank you cause the kids and the grandkids that you gave me I was able to pray for them and as I see them today I can thank God that he's watched over each and every one and grief is tough but the good news is, is the Bible says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I wanted to run through this, but I was reminded that if I run through it, I may miss God. So I got to keep on trusting God. And the Bible says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. This is just a shadow of death. When I saw grandma a few days ago, they got her in a white dress with a crown on her head. Yes, that I said, that's my queen. That's the woman that I love. That's the woman that always gave unconditional love. That's the woman that was always there in hard times and trouble. Yeah, we got mothers and fathers, but there's nothing like a grandmother. I had two praying grandmothers. I had two praying grandmothers that I had actually three praying grandmothers. But I, cause I call, I claim, uh, I claim, a, I claim Dorothy, uh, Dorothy as my grandmother. I had grandmother Farella and Grandma Bell. I had. I, I was blessed. Anybody was blessed with multiple grandmothers? I was blessed with multiple grandmothers. And because I was blessed with multiple grandmothers, I had grandmothers that was praying for me. Is there anybody that can thank God for a praying grandmother? When you know that a grandmother will pray for you. When you know a grandmother will encourage you. When you know that a grandmother, even in the midst of what you're going through, will wipe your tears away. I know a grandmother that took her children's children in. A grandmother that raised her children's children's children and in the midst of that she still yet came in mind and stayed on Jesus I knew she used to watch the, as the world turned, she used to watch the bold and the beautiful, she used to watch Jerry Springer, 
she used to watch all the cop stories but even every time I would go over there she even would watch the Christian television and she would say the Lord has been good to me she would say Scotty I know it's going to be alright and when we had to do all that we can do we put grandma in God's hand and God has made a way out of no way I remember when Laura said it's just going to be a few days Laura you called it just right it was a few days later and grandma had took the morning wings of a dove and she left this old body and put on another body and that's why the word says yea though I walk through the valley yeah I'm walking through the valley because the bible says the shadow of death I will fear no evil can I tell your family you don't have to fear evil because grandma is all right she moved from 1829 North Evanston to Heaven Boulevard and that's why I can rejoice today to tell you thank you Lord because the Bible says for thou art with me that rod and our staff shall comfort me and I'm so glad to know that I know Jesus for myself I'm so glad to know that trouble don't last always I'm so glad to know that one of these days I'm gonna have to face the last enemy and when I face the last enemy I want to hear him say well done thou a good and faithful servant when I face the Lord I want to hear him say you kept the faith you fought a good fight grandma you fought a good fight grandma you kept the faith grandma you kept us together I heard mama say that now the boss is gone you on your own but let me correct my mama you don't have to be on your own you'll put it in God's hand he'll walk with you he'll talk with you he'll be your strength he'll be your comforter yeah you thought your mama was the boss but she knew who the boss was she knew who the shot caller was she knew him as a bridge over troubled waters she knew him as a shelter in the midst of a storm she knew him as a provider that would make a way out of no way and because my grandma was a praying grandma I can tell you what prayer can do prayer can pick you up Prayer can make you smile. Prayer can help you run on. Prayer can help you hold on. So I want to say to my family, it's going to be all right. This woman knew that one day she was going to close her eyes. But she knew if she wake up on the other side, that she would be in the presence of God. And that's why I want to say, I thank God for Jehovah Jireh because he is my provider. I thank God for Jehovah Nisi. I thank God that he continues to make ways out of no way we don't have to worry about grandma no more she couldn't walk no more on this side but Loretta she's on the other side she's saying thank you can I tell you Nisi it's gonna be all right I know it's tough but let me tell you your mama right now she's probably right there saying the one you beat me here she's probably saying the one I miss you on the other side but there's a reunion on the other side can I close for tell somebody I just did a few days ago there was a tragedy that healed up in Texas there was a young girl that was in the room she said I saw the gunman he came in and they shot some of the students and she said what I did was I played like I was dead I wretch over and I got some blood off of one of the others and I put the blood on me I laid there and thought I was dead can I tell your family there's something about the blood of Jesus and we're covered by the blood is there anybody know that there's power in the blood of Jesus and because of the blood of Jesus you're gonna be all right because of the blood of Jesus God is gonna make a way out of no way can I tell your family we've all sinned and fell short of the glory but the good news is is that Jesus died for you and I Jesus hung on the cross of Calvary for your sins and mine I just happened to be the chosen one to preach today but each one of you all could have done exactly what I'm doing because God has blessed each and every one of you all so I want to tell you when we leave here and go 
go to the cemetery hold your head up and just say I'm covered by the blood is there anybody here that can testify I'm covered by the blood my grandmother she was covered by the blood my grandmother when she would go to the hospital she would tell you she really didn't go to the doctor until in her early 90s because she knew that she can trust God my grandmother didn't take medicine until she got on the bed of her affliction because my grandmother knew that by his stripes she was healed my grandmother knew that she can call on the name of Jesus and he'd make a way out of no way can I tell her children today I know it's tough I know it's hard I know it's trouble but the good news is is that Hebrews tell us that we have a great cloud of witnesses and your mother now is one of those witnesses that's going to encourage you your mother now is one of those witnesses that's going to walk with you I want to quit because I don't want to be too long but I just need to tell your family because you're covered by the blood is there anybody here that can testify I'm covered by the blood to our sisters over here on the first row you've lost another sister but the good news is your sisters and your brothers were covered by the blood and because there's power in the blood of Jesus we can testify I just want to know is there any of my family members that can call on the name of Jesus I know Laura you used to sing a song it was Shirley Caesar that wrote it and said oh how I love Jesus it's the sweetest name I know and I want to tell you I've cried all week I've, I've wrestled all week but every time I felt like there was no way out I heard the Lord say greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world he said who else could do your grandmother's eulogy the way that you could and so I just want to thank the Lord for making a way out of no way grandma rest on it's gonna be all right you in the presence of Jesus you couldn't walk no more but you can walk now you was getting down a limb in your speech but I can hear you hollering now I can hear you saying hallelujah I can hear you saying thank you Jesus I know grandma it seemed like your later days was tough but you always encouraged us even on your bedside my grandma would smile so I just want to tell your family it's going to be all right how many of you know it's going to be all right how many you know it's going to be all right you can be smiling one moment and crying the next moment but it's going to be all right when you love somebody when you love somebody it hurts but the good news is it's going to be all right i'm here today with my grandmother but a few days out and tomorrow i got to get on the highway and go with my sister my brother in love billy lost his father so billy and christy we want you to know that the lord is your shepherd also we want you to know that as you're sitting here today that you got family that knows that God's going to see you through. Can I go ahead on and close and tell your family that the Lord is your shepherd and we shall not want. And because of that, we ought to rejoice for this queen. Because this was our queen. Man, this was our queen. I love you, Grandma. I'm not saying bye. I'm saying farewell. Cause I'll see you again. Flower girls and funeral come, but as they're coming, I want to tell you, my grandma was a, a amazing grandmother. My grandmother was someone that I'm telling you, I could go and sit there for hours and just talk to her and get her wisdom. I know that each one of us hurt because of this loss, but it is so important to continue to know that God is our shepherd. And as Melon said, man, just continue to keep loving each other. Continue. Grant, grant, I mean, and, and the children, the children allowed us to just come in and do what we've done as grandchildren for our grandmother. And grandma loved that. And listen, I want to say that, you know, I love each and every one of you all. Every one of you all. And, and, and just remember, and I know y'all love me, 
I want you to know that God is just good, amen? So continue. And it's all right. Scream if you have to. You don't got to let, let it out. Listen, that's what grief is. Listen, if you, if you want to grieve, scream, go ahead. Get it out. Get it out. Let, yeah, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Listen, listen, scream, scream, yell, holler. You know what? Because the Lord is your shepherd. Nobody knows how each one of you feel, but it's okay to go to your grief. It's okay. Handle your grief, or grief is going to handle you. It's okay. It's okay. And then I, remember this. I'm saying this. Flower girls, come on up. Those that's going to be flower girls, come on up. Flower girls, come on up. The granddaughters that's going to be, the granddaughters that's strong enough to be flower girls, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Now, if you can't be strong enough, don't come up here and hold a flower and drop the glass. All right? Man, we need some strong, some of the flower girls that can endure it. Some of the flower girls that can endure it. Amen? Amen. Give me some flower girls. Give me some flower girls. God is good. And when, remember, when they open the casket, that's just a shell. Grandma's gone on. Grandma's gone on. Grandma's telling us right now, hey, y'all think y'all can throw some barbecues? She's telling you right now, I'm, I'm up there now in the presence of God. She's up there saying that, you know what? She used to take a trip out the Cowdy Trail. She's saying, I can see Uncle Jerry and I and Adabelle. She's saying her sisters. She's saying them all, all the flower girls. Is it, is it, let me say this, family. All my family is beautiful. All my family is beautiful. Y'all all beautiful. All beautiful. All beautiful. All beautiful. We thank God for two of our other cousins, Anya and Jackie. I love it when I see them doing what they do. I love it. 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 Amen. I thank God for Gary Carter, the Dyer, they say Butler, Dyer stuff. I thank God for the Dyer funeral home staff. With Butler stuff. I thank God for the director, Angela. Angela has walked us through with this on this. And we thank you very much, Angela. We thank you. We thank you. And then four more ladies. Four more. Four more. Four more. Four more. I want to say immediately after we leave the interim, we do have dinner that's here. That's, we want to say a special thanks. Paul, I don't eat barbecue, but y'all let me know if it's any good. And if it ain't any good, I'll tell Paul. I'm pretty sure it's good, though. Big daddy's in there. Uh, thank you, Paul. Appreciate you. Amen. God is so good. How many know God is just good? God is just amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. God is amazing. I want to say, I, I don't know if, if Jackie made it back with the programs. She did. Amen. I want to make sure everybody got a program. Everybody got a program. Amen. amen. If, if anybody else need a program? Amen. I want to make sure everybody I want a program, we get a program. Thank you, Miss Jackie. I want to make sure everybody get a program. Amen. Amen. I can't sing. I can't sing. I don't want to be at the next family reunion and the family say, you don't know you can't sing. Why are you trying to sing anyway? All right, but if I can sing, I'll tell you. God is good. Thank you, Alex. Go ahead. Thank you. God, we thank you for the family. We thank you that you continue to give us strength as we go the next mile of the way. In Jesus' name, amen.
like a morning dove, I'll fly away, yeah. fly away. One day I'll fly away, yeah, yeah fly away. Trouble of the world Trouble of the world Trouble of the world Soon I will be done With the trouble of the world
so good. Yes, Lord, you've been. Lord, you brought me and you taught me your hope. You kept me, yes, you did. Uh, and you never, never, ever, you, you've been so good. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 